Hey, what's up everybody? This is Bluebeam Man. Bluebeam Man's in the house, running the maze faster than a mouse. The daily strive to be better. Lean in and get that cheddar. Level up the nation to the extreme. One team, one dream. Blue Beam, let's do this. You like that? I'm gonna start doing some raps to kick off the videos, cause why not? Why not? Um, I make these at like two in the morning in my garage because I don't wanna wake up my kid. Um, anyways, so let's rock and roll here. Um, what we're gonna talk about in this one is a couple things. One, I wanna show you guys two things in this video. Um, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you this a little tip of the sync tool, but I'm gonna go through this cool little org chart template because I think this is really neat. Not everyone knows this, but down at the bottom left, you can click on this little icon here to split the screen. And if anyone at any time you wanna review two different drawings at the same time, there's a button down here, these two little arrows. And if you click on it, and if you click document or page, if it's the page, the pages have to match, same size. Most of the time it's reviewing where there's a change order on the right um, or some kind of change to this drawing and you wanna just make sure it's in the right spot or you're transferring markups to one to the other or somebody marked up a drawing really badly and you wanna make it look better. If you set the page, the document, all the pages have to line up, but the page is the page. Once you set that and you turn the sync on, if you zoom here, it'll zoom in there. I thought it's super cool. This is called a PED, a performance enhancing detail. So it really helps if you're reviewing two different drawings. Um, there's also other tools in the document to review things. But this is a down and dirty really quick thing that's super awesome to review two of the same drawing sizes to just double check, you know, are these doors the same? Do they make a change? Yes or no? And you're in and you're out and you can move the screen back to single and turn off your sync. Okay, so what we're gonna talk about today, there's your little tip of the day, but what we're gonna talk about today is this cool little org chart template. Now, if you want this, you're gonna have to email me um, at epiclifeskills at gmail.com and then I'll send you this template if you want it. And this template is really cool. This is an org chart template that I built. I thought it was super neat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add another page here. Ooh, how'd I do that? How'd you add another page, John? Well, you just click on the drawing, you click on this add page. So there's a, a same size page. But what you're gonna do for this org chart template, I thought this is really neat, is you're gonna go to preferences and then you're gonna go to your general, your grid. So preferences, general grid, and set this to 0.05. Super, super important, you set this to 0.05, okay? Once that's set to 0.05, you can then turn the grid on and you can turn on the snap. So that's the grid, that's the snap, okay? Once that's on, I built this cool little org chart template that if you wanted to build an org chart, it's super easy. I built some groups um, that are already preset. Now, this page, I would never use a page this size, so let me just nix this here really quick and let's go to um, a decent org chart size. Let's just say an eight and a half by 11. The same grid is on. Oh, but we did the wrong one, John. Let's do a 11 by 17, but let's actually set it right. Let's actually set it to landscape, landscape. All right, so there, there it is. And now that definitely looks a lot better. Um, and so what you're gonna do here with this org chart template, and I think these are smaller ones and let's see, these are bigger ones. Maybe you need to do a bigger one. Maybe that's it. Maybe you need to do an eight and a half by 11. What the hell did I do? Large and small. Let's try this again. Landscape. Remember guys, I'm not like amazing. I'm pretty good, but I'm not super awesome. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. So we'll go that way. So. Um, two things you can do with this little org chart tool. So if you click large and then you drop this on the screen, there you go, right? And what I did was I had these drop this little points here. So then you could put in a job title like um, blue beam man. And then um, what's my name? Johnny blue beam. Okay. Um, and it's super easy because these are groups that are that, that snap to these grids. And then all you have to do is you can do this polyline. You can make whatever color you want, but right in the middle, if you go click and then you can go click and then you can go out here, click, double click will end the line. So if you double click, you'll end the line. And then you could go ahead and make another one, right? So what I usually like to do is I like the fact that I can kind of line things up. You know, obviously here it is. I know that's just in the middle. Um, but let's just say if you want to do that, you can off you go. Um, you can create you know infinite numbers of 
little markups there. I can set these um, little groups here. So this is like a, a little org chart group. I can kind of just paste that in there and then line this up wherever I want. And then I can delete this. So to delete it, you hit Control Shift G or if you right click, you can click ungroup and you ungroup it, basically, it just did a group of the ungroup. So now this, these are still groups within it. So if you wanna delete, say, half of this, you can just highlight this whole thing and just hit delete, or you can just take out these guys here, and then you can take out these guys, and then I can remove these here, and then shorten this one up just like that. And because the snap to grid's on, everything's nice and pretty. You can select the whole thing and move it down. Um, and you can go create an org chart in Bluebeam and it's super easy. And then these fields right here from this line to that dot, this dot to that dot is a LinkedIn profile picture. If you download the LinkedIn profile picture and you click picture, you select the picture and then you just drag from this dot to that dot, it'll line up perfectly. And you can go build a Bluebeam org chart. And if you want this tool set, have at it. Now, if you want to just go ahead and build your own kind of layout, you can, I build some little groups that will drop it to the right. I built a couple ones that'll drop it to the left, which is kind of neat. And then I've also built some small and large ones. So if you want to do the large ones, you can just kind of, um, sometimes I, when I work the grid, I like to zoom out a little bit. It kind of gives me a little bit of, um, I guess, perspective. And then I can just click to those ones there. Now you can go ahead and put that reuse tool on, which is also very handy. And I can, if I want to just kind of reuse, you see if, if I drop the grid that I kind of, kind of see on the page here, then um, when I zoom out, I kind of get this bigger grid, which allows me to kind of just kind of see the drawing a little better because I got a one, two, three, and then this little guy. So I'm, I can say I want it to go there, or maybe I want it to go there, or I'll just go over one. And so pretty simple. Um, you can kind of create um, the separation. So like even at this level, I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And now that I have that spacing, I can copy these top two. And if I hold the control key, here's another little tip, I can click, click, and drag. So if I hold the control key, I can left click and drag. And then I can just kind of move these over and just make sure that there's six in between them, right? And then now you can just go back to this level here if you want to. Um, maybe you can zoom in just one more bit. You can see it go to the top there and then off you go and just kind of start clicking down. And then once you kind of generate your org chart, then you can start typing in all your names, all your job titles. And then once that's done, if you want to put the icing on the cake, you can then kind of take your, um, I'll just add one more on here just because we're making a video. So might, might as well just get do it right. So now that that's done there, I can kind of see my center line, which is right there. If I click on the polyline, and I can, I don't have to have this red if I don't want to. You can always chain these after the fact, um, change them. Um, the middle line is right there. And then I will double click and there we go. So, um, and there's the straight line too. I could probably take these out of, somehow they got turned to red. That's really kind of weird. It should just be a single line. So I will go ahead and click on this um, tool chest and I will change this back to black because that's just weird that it changed to red. And we can change this one back to black. Long video, I know, but this is super cool. So if anyone wants to create an org chart in Bluebeam, have at it and you can kind of just go at will and, and build away and uh, using these tools that are kind of pre-built. And yeah, so that's how you build an org chart in Bluebeam. Then you can add your header, any other data at the top, but um, you want to set your grid to 0 0.05. You can use this little tool chest and off you go to building a, a name chart. And remember, save the link in photo picture on the upper left and then click the little image button. I think it's also under edits, PDF content, or where is it? It's in the tools. Oh man, I I just have these things put up there because I'm so used to, to getting after them, but I know there's something, there's a spot in here where you do image. I just don't know where it is at the moment. All I know is I've put it up here. <laughs> That's where it is. So um, forgive me, but then you just save it from LinkedIn and just click and drag. But there is your how to build an org chart in Bluebeam, how to do the sync tool, and then um, there's a couple other little tips and tricks I've woven in there. So that should do it for the video of today. Have a great day, everybody. Blue Bee Man out.